Hi, in this video, let's talk about equant cell and equant EMF. There are two types of system of batteries. One, system of series of batteries or cells. And secondly, we have system of parallel cells. In a system of series of cells, batteries are connected in series such that if I send I current through a battery, the same current will flow through all the batteries. And here we can see this battery has EMF E1 and this one has E2 and this has E3 and E4. And there is internal resistance of uh, batteries uh, given R1, R2, R3, R4. And note down uh, and note this uh, here all the batteries here uh, this one, this one and this one connected in this uh, system such that the positive terminal is this side and the negative terminal is this side. Now here you can see this one also has the positive terminal this side, negative this side and here the positive is this side and the negative this side. And if I consider this third battery here, it has a, a different, right? It's a negative terminal is this side and the positive terminal is this side. And let's say we want to find the equivalent battery and the equivalent EMF. That means the single battery that can be used instead of this uh, system of batteries. Let's say that a uh, single battery has an EMF E and we, I can write down an equation for E. The equivalent EMF of this battery is equals to E1 plus E2 minus E3 plus E4. Here we can see it's minus because this third battery has uh, it has connected in opposite direction so it is minus and the equivalent uh, resistor of the equivalent battery is can be written as r equals r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 so here note down even the battery is connected in the other side the uh, resistance is the same because if the battery is either this direction connected this way or that way the if i send a current the resistance uh, experienced by the current would be the same so it does it regardless what uh, direction you have connected the battery so internal resistance is always going to be the sum of uh, the resistance of each battery so r equals r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 okay now let's uh, try to prove this okay to prove this i'm going to uh, complete a circuit a simple circuit now i take this here So I am going to take this point uh, C and this point D. Okay, and now I can write uh, considering the A, C, D, B, A loop, right? So this direction indicates A, C, D, B, A. Considering this uh, closed loop and using Kirchhoff's. second law or oh, we say the law of voltages okay so touch of second law says sigma e equals sigma i r and let's say the current in the circuit is capital i okay so here i can write e is uh, the sum of emf i'm moving from a c d b a coming this way the psi emit so coming from here A, C, D, B and up to here no EMFs and then I first uh, encounter this E4. So E4 is in the direction that uh, we are moving right plus sorry it's and then minus because it is in the uh, opposite direction E3 is opposite direction to uh, now we are moving in this direction but it is in the opposite direction so it's minus and then this is plus is minus e3 plus e2 and plus e1 is equals now i have to take all the ir terms current i into coming from here we have uh, r4 internal resistor ir4 plus again i into r3 plus i into r2 plus i into 
so I can uh, modify this formula as uh, e1 plus e2 minus e3 plus e4 I just rearrange this order is equals to i times I can write here r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 because i is common in all four terms so I can take i out now I consider this equivalent uh, battery and let's complete here so let's say uh, this is the uh, circuit with equivalent battery that means we have this single battery instead of this uh, system of batteries the equivalent battery means it has to give the same electric effects that uh, instead of uh, it has to give the same electric effect that uh, given by this system of uh, battery so same electric effect means the same current would be here should be flown in this circuit so if I use the Kirchhoff law for this circuit I would get simply um, I write here it would be here better. Okay. Uh, so E equals IR so only the EMF is E and the only the IR term is this so now I can take consider this formula I write here E equals IR so by comparing this uh, equation and this equation I can write down these two so E equals E1 plus E2 minus E3 plus E4 and R equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 so uh, that is so we wanted to prove E equals E1 plus E2 minus E3 plus E4 and R equals R1 plus 2 plus R3 plus R4 so that's it that's the proof and if you want to learn about system of parallel cells, please click the video appearing here.